I'm just making sure I'm recording because I just recorded a video that didn't record. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, this is my weekly haul. Bi weekly haul, I think this is probably going to be. Um, uh, yeah, it is bi weekly haul because the stuff from this week and the stuff from the week I was away on Chris, uh, for Christmas break, a uh, holiday break. Um, you know, and, uh, Happy New Year's, everyone. Um, I, I haven't said it before, so Happy New Year's to everyone. Hope everyone has a good year. I just posted uh, my list for 2018, which is a pretty major list. Um, I'm shooting for the moon this time. Um, and we'll see how I do this year. But I, I'm really, really hopeful that I will uh, sell some stuff um, and uh, stop buying things like this. So I'll show a quick while we'll be doing a video on this. <sighs> buying stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's massive. Uh, so instead of buying stuff, I'm going to be selling stuff and making some money so I can buy some of those major books I want to get this uh, this year. So this is what I picked up in the last two weeks. These are new books. Um, it just came out. Um, and also there's a couple in here that my local threw in there. Uh, I'm just looking real quick to see what's in there. But I also um, picked, I went to a a, uh, I got some stuff from eBay too, but I also went to a um, um, local shop in Pennsylvania. Well, I went to a comic shop in Pennsylvania when I was visiting in a place called, it's called the, Com Car the Comic Archives. Um, it's in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. It's a really cool shop. Um, people who own it, the, uh, I think it's a husband and wife. Um, really, really cool people. Um, they had some pretty cool books up there. Um, I guess they had some other books that they have away right now getting great at CGC so unfortunately there was a couple they mentioned that I wouldn't mind have looked at but I did pick up some major keys <laughs> you know at least one major key you know pretty major I really own it but this one's a little bit nicer than the one I own so I'll show it to you at the end though um, but I did get a couple major keys just to, that I have to show at the end and then I got some original artwork from pages and original art pages from image comics and stuff um, but yeah, so we'll just get started on the new stuff. And this is uh, Captain America 697. This is the variant cover. Um, this is like, uh, where's Wolverine been? I guess they're bringing him back. Surprise, surprise. And then, of course, this is the regular cover. Okay, before you can see, I got the little, little emblem. That's the only reason I bought it. Where's Wolverine? I guess they kind of go into where he's been or something. I don't know. I, I didn't read the story, so I don't know what happened. I have the death of Wolverine, but I don't know. <clears throat> I didn't even read it. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, Batman 38. Pretty cool. Um, a very, very cool cover. I think this is like a Sankowitz or something. don't know who did that cover, but it's really cool. And here goes the regular cover for that. 38. And this is, I believe, supposed to be the last lenticular Astonishing X-Men where they do the uh, the homage cover kind of thing. And I got the Harvey, uh, Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica. And that's that cover. And then I got the alternate cover. Um, number four. I don't know who did that. Ha. Whoever Ha is. Um, Outcast 32, blah, blah, blah. Waiting for that show to come back out again in part season two. Then, of course, I got the New World Order, number one of six, so you know, the new series for The Walking Dead, the new uh, arc, story arc. Uh, this is 175. And then I got, oh no, this is Sankowitz. That's why I was thinking Sankowitz did this cover, Rick. Um, that's the same thing, just an alternate cover. Then I got this. I was waiting for this one to come out. Part two of this. Uh, I got the cover I like the best. This is the B cover. Actually, that's not true. I think the other cover I might have liked a little bit better. Hatchet number two. That movie. If you haven't seen that horror movie, watch it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's one of those B movies, but uh, it's pretty cool. Um, then I got Phoenix Resurrection number two. Baron. So I can't remember his name's like Lee Luke or I can't remember his name. The guy who did that one. But you know what? I actually show the ones other ones. Um, that they did. This is number one, I believe. Yeah, Lee, Lee and Yuke. I think he did that one too. Number one. 
Maybe not. Eh, maybe not. Maybe that's someone else. I don't know who did that one. That's pretty cool, but this is the number one variant cover for that. That is a standard cover. I need to get the... Uh, there's a 1 in 100 uh, virgin cover for that, which I don't know how my local didn't get it. Kind of pissed. Um, this one's awesome, though. Phoenix Resurrection, the Jenny Frizen one. This is like a 1 in 20, I believe. 1 in 25, something like that. And then the Jenny Frizen Wonder Woman cover, 31. So that's pretty cool. Um, and here goes a new kind of like a lenticular cover but it's just a separate one for the, the last issue of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 150 or I think it's supposed to be the last issue 150 so and this is something they just threw in my bin um, through my thing they knew I like Chucky I've been buying a lot of Chucky stuff dolls and stuff action figures this is Chucky number one this is the uh, movie prop one this is the regular cover Forward number one and then this is number four I think I might have the whole set already but then I grabbed these just because I want to read them actually Mercenot that showed a couple of the uh, varying covers and I guess they were like crazy money but I, I figured I'd check it out to read the story so I got the first two um, issues of this book um, Eternity number one I figured I'd check it out to see why the uh, at the all the varying covers for it are like over a hundred dollars or something like that. I was saying, um, I need to check it to see why <laughs> I ain't paying that kind of money for um, the covers, multi cover. I pay cover price, but so I did get this. This is a pre order edition for number two, um, and this is the standard cover for number two, which is a very, very cool cover. And then this is the uh, like a variant, the B cover or something. So pretty cool. Um, so that's all the, the new stuff I got. Um, now, on to the uh, stuff I picked up at uh, at that place. Uh, let me see what I got. And I also got some stuff from uh, eBay. And I got some stuff from uh, um, my look. I got one book off the wall. However, before I do that, let me just show something to you. Um, some original art stuff. I put it in here already. Because like I said, I did the video already. I showed this when I thought I was done. However, I... Uh, guys, the video was well over an hour. And I wasn't going to post that. So try this a little bit. I got this from that store. We ended up talking about Kaneko Comics when I was there and talking about how it went out of business and stuff. The guy knew someone worked or something like that. He somehow knows someone or knows someone. I don't know. But he knows how it went out of business. He was telling me the story. I didn't really know. Um, now this is what he told me. He had told me that the original Kaneko Comics, he had a, he got in some personal finance issues. So he had um, sold, the, sold the place um, to another owner. And then the new owner decided to start. Originally, it was a subscription place. You just, you, you ordered, they sent it to your house. They weren't in comic stores or anything like that. So the new owner decided to start, put them out in the comic stores. And then and the deal was, is that, you know, they'll send them out the comics, whatever they don't sell. Um, every month, they send it back, and they'll get the credit for it, whatever. Um, so they were doing it. Everything was going great. Um, they weren't getting any books back. You know, um, looked like everything was selling out, but then at the end of the year, they got back like pallets full of books that hadn't sold all year round. I don't know what happened. I don't know why that happened. This is a story I was told, so I don't, I don't know um, how true this is, but it sounds reasonable to me. Um, and they just didn't have the money to, to pay, buy back these books. So uh, they ended up going out of business and bankrupt, whatever. But this is uh, one thing that I found that I thought was pretty cool. He gave, got this for me for 25 bucks. He has some Kimiko stuff. Um, this is a page, a production page from uh, Grendel number 14. This is pages number, or no, I'm sorry, number 11. Uh, Grendel number 11. Uh, what pages are these? 
one in some, one of the twenties. Oh no, there's there's some in there earlier. This is number twenty six. One was number eight. One was number twenty three. Number six. But it's pretty cool. Just a production page. You can see where they drew on it so they can make some corrections because there was like some ink missing, coloring missing, whatever. Pretty cool though. 25 bucks, I'll take it. So let me just get this one all the back up with. It's going to be worth saying to the end. I got major keys, guys. Spend some money. And it's going to be worth watching. Um, what did I do to the rubber band? Uh, I hate. Here it is. Put it back in here. I got some uh, some of the original, some stuff I had in here from before. I do page original art watercolor from uh, Elfquest is in there. That's, this is what I got from them. So I saved it. Um, and then I got one other thing from Kim Yuko. Yeah. This isn't So this is what I got from, and this is a uh, another production page, but this is from Robotech. Um, can't remember what issue it is, but they had it on the back of the. This was wrapped in some cellophane, half-assed, and it was uh, I think it's number, I can't remember number fifteen. Oh no no no, they had a price on it, fifty-five dollars. But I got this for, you know, paying. Yeah, I paid fifty dollars for this, so it was seventy-five for both of them. I was happy to pay 50 for this because this is a Robotech. Pretty cool. Uh, so I got that. Now let me show the original art pages first and then I'll go into the keys. Um, oh, I did get some other stuff. I'm sorry guys. Got this. This is the uh, Red Skull one. I'm not going to bother pulling it out. The uh, 1 in 12. I mean the, the 1 in 12. Um, and then I also got this, which I will show. Um, I will show in a separate video. The Lobo six scale hot toys. But I do want to show this. So I have this all set up for um, doing my sideshow collectible stuff. One other thing. I got this a uh, really cheap price because I bought that whole buster um, and I got this for 100 and 130 they gave it to me for priced at 200 but they gave me uh, a lot off of it because I bought that it's the Deadpool adamantium um, book thing so if you guys want to see this uh, separate video you guys want to see me um, open this up and page through it um, it's still in the cellophane and everything like that so um, let me know um, and I'll do that. It's actually the other adamantium books I have. Um, I have a lot of views on them, so there might be some uh, some uh, some you know some people that want to see it. So this is what I got. I have already put it away in my book. These are the pages I brought. You guys have already seen that, right? You guys have already seen this, right? Yeah, you guys have seen that. Which play 126 cover. And then you guys seen the cover for Peter Pan's of House, number 14. Well, I got some regular pages. This, these are from like issues number three, whatever. This is a uh, one page right there. I got that. This is, a, this is from issue, no, I don't know, these are from like, like, I can't remember issue, these are from some early issues though. Um, there's another one, and then there goes another one. They have prices on the bottom, 250 450 for this one, which I didn't pay anywhere close to that. I paid like 50 bucks a piece for them, $45, something like that. And then I got this one here. There's the last one I got. Now I got some, also got some pages from, um, from Christmas, uh, he did it, uh, I, think, I think his name is Giant Christmas, 
something like that. But he did sheltered. These are some pages from sheltered. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, this is from sheltered. So I don't, I thought I had the page. This is issue number three, page two. This is uh, issue number three, page three. This is also another one. I don't know what number that is. Remember, that's like issue number four, I believe. 20-something, 20 21. Uh, this is where he killed his dog. He killed the dog. The dog got killed, so. But yeah, so that's what I got for them. Pretty good. Let me see if I got anything else in the back here. Oh, I got some Tim Vigil stuff. Uh, this is the Conan page I got. Pretty good. And then I got some other ones, which are a bit smaller, so I have them in here. I would have pulled these out, but I'm going to try to do it quick. This is almost done, guys, and I'm getting to the keys. Um, this is stuff I got earlier. Look at the new stuff. This is from Beam Moore. I can't remember his name. A little graphic. But I got this from the guy I bought the Tim Vigil stuff off of. I think he did Elfquest. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Hmm. Why is that? Where's the... Oh, here's some. Here's another one I got. This is a Tim Vigil piece. This is from... Ooh, I can't remember the name of the uh, series. But here are some other stuff. This one's a freebie, actually. Um, and this is just some cool sketch stuff with Faust in the top up there. Um, some other things. Some of these have stuff on the back also. You got some kind of shootout thing. He kind of traced from a print on the back. It's kind of funny. Um, but they have other stuff that I got. So that's what I got. Nothing big deal. Um, now, into the key book. If I forgot anything, then I'm going to have to show it in another video. So first, I did get some... Uh, let me sh Actually, you know what? Let me just show the books. This is stuff I got from the guy at Comic Archives in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. This was five bucks. A uh, pretty nice copy. This is probably around a VF plus, maybe a near mint minus. Yeah, very VF plus, I would say. Um, but for five bucks, um, cool. That's maybe a 30, 25, 30 dollar book, something like that. And this was also five dollars. I already have one, but get another one for five bucks. Batman Darkest Night. This is where he gets the Green Lantern ring. This was ten bucks. It's horrible. But it is what it is, and for ten bucks, I'll take it. Covers detached, <laughs> so crime suspense stories number twenty-four. But for ten bucks, I'll take it. <laughs> Why not? This was fifty, um, which I'm fine. I needed this issue. I only need like a couple to complete the series, um, and most of them in like the early. I think like I need like seven, eight, nine. This is one of them. I need it. And this, the reason I paid $50 for it, because this book is in like really, really nice condition. Um, look at that spine. So pretty nice. 50 bucks, I'll take it. Now this was 75. This is a book that I needed. I've been wanting for a long time. It's just a classic um, Captain Iron Man fight cover, you know. Um, this is Tales of Suspense, number 58. This was 75 bucks. I think that's pretty good price on that. It's a pretty nice copy. Not perfect, but it's pretty nice. Mid-grade. Um, awesome. I would say at least a five. Uh, very cool. Now, I didn't get this one from... Um, I got this one on eBay from... Uh, um, um, Rhode Island, uh, from Rhode Island. Uh, the guy... Uh, to help time capsule um, got this for ninety dollars captain adam number 83 is it yeah 83 and this is not the modern it's the first appearance of blue beetle ted cord pretty cool i think that's a pretty good deal 90 bucks 
Um, pretty awesome. Now I got this from my local on the wall. And I paid 70 bucks for it. Ran in there with discount. They wanted 95. Ended up getting it for 70, just I think $71. But Tales of Astonish, numbers 57. Spider Man cover. I don't think I have that, so. Now, before I show the last two books, I did get some. Uh, I got some uh, CGC books. But the last two books I'm going to show are the major keys. So here we go. Man, I'm hoping I. <laughs> I hope I have them in this box. Just in case I didn't show this, I don't know if I showed this or not, but this is a 9.2. I bought this on eBay. Um, first, teen, first new Teen Titans. No big deal. Well, I think I might have shown it already. Hmm. Where is the book? So there's another book I did buy from the guy at the Karmic Comic Park. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. She's probably in the box down there. But I basically got, I'll tell you, I got a 9.4 copy of CGC of this book here. I paid 60 bucks for it. So, building my collection, building my collection. So I did, I paid, uh, I got a 9.4 copy of whatever it is. So that's what I got there. I thought I had a couple CGC books, but I don't know what happened to them. Now the last two books, when I, and before I end this video, um, 22 minutes is pretty good place to stop. Um, this first one I got at the uh, Karmic Archive. This is the money I paid 400. So uh, I already have a copy of this. I think this might be a little bit nicer. I have a 5.5 copy of this um, that I bought for 300 a couple years, a few years ago at the Rhode Island Comic Con. Um, but this is probably around that. I would say this is probably around a six. I don't, I don't know. Maybe even if it is the same, same grade, um, a second copy is not bad for four hundred. I'll take it. So it's the uh, Invincible Iron Man number fifty-five, first appearance of the uh, Blood Brothers. It's a pretty cool. Oh, well, that's right. And also Drax, and Thanos. So first appearance, first full appearance, whatever you want to say. Blah 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 blah. Um, but this is the money book, so. Got another copy of it. Now, this is the big book, guys. Four hundred dollars, pretty good. But spent five forty on this book, and I won it at an auction. And I got it from Time Capsule also. Um, I do have a copy of this that I paid one hundred and seventy-five dollars for my local years ago. Um, that one came back at a five point five, also I believe it was. Um, yeah, I think that yeah that one's a 5.5 also, um, but this one's a little bit nicer than that. I think this is probably around seven seven five, um, but who knows? But it is what it is, and it's another amazing Spider-Man number 129. So pretty cool, guys. Yeah, I've got some issue down there. That's about the only place that has some issues at little pen, but yeah, look, it's fine. Take a gander. Take a gander. There you go. Do people say gander still? I don't know, but I do. Take a look. Pretty good. For 540. I think that's pretty good. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And I'm going to do some separate videos. I have that Hulkbuster. I'm going to do a uh, another video on. Uh, I'm going to have a Thor statue, a Millennium statue. It's about this tall. Um, and I also have a Dark Phoenix and Premium, and I have a uh, Black Cat Premium Sideshow. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and um, I'm going to see you guys later. Goodbye. Bye.